YouTube, what is up with y'all? Today, I got a sneaker review for you guys and ladies. Good fellas and good ladies, I should say. But anyway, um, I'm going to just make this one kind of quick. This was probably like probably like one of my last sneakers I actually got a review as far as like in my collection. This is not a new pickup or anything. Um, I got this in 2014. I wanted more colorways of this shoe. Most particularly, I wanted the Phoenix Sun colorway and the mint green one and this one. And uh, I was kind of contemplating on the all red one. But uh, yeah. But I just kind of held out. At first, I was going to cop the Phoenix Sun colorway of this, but I ended up copping this one. Once, plus, once I found out it was OG as well, these just started growing on me a little bit more. And besides, I really don't have any yellow kicks anyway. Um, these kicks kind of remind me a little bit of like corn on a cob with the yellow bottom. When I first got these, they was nice and gold. Um, I didn't really too much get these for a deal, but I didn't pay retail. I probably paid like 70 something bucks. When these came out, they was probably like 120, 130. I think 130. Um, yep, on the box right here, say 130. I got these in a nine and a half. These came out around that, that 91, 92 kind of like time. I want to say 92, um, because you can see the Hirachi influence on it. Um, this kick, I probably should have got my other ones out, but this kick and, uh, the Jordan 7 and the Jordan 5 definitely, uh, has a lot in common. Um, of course, with the Jordan 7, you can also see like a Hirachi kind of like uh, feel like this. You know, it was one of them things like, you know how Nike do, like if it's a new technology that's hot for the shoe or whatever, um, you know, or, you know, it's going to be incorporated in a signature athlete shoe some kind of way uh, throughout that season or throughout that year. And uh, so basically whatever happened to a Jordan shoe, it was most likely happening to an Agassi shoe and some general releases kind of like how fly lebron did the fly wire and it kind of trickled down to everything else to be like fly wired and fly knits and all that crazy stuff so it was just kind of like that with these um these actually remind me a little bit of mortal kombat 3 um look it up uh cyrex he's yellow and black i just think of him when i look at these kicks though um and another thing too i the only thing I really don't care about this shoe is how stubborn the tongue could be. It's just like, what the hell is this, man? How am I supposed to tongue fuck this, man? You know, like, like had a pants hanging, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, up under it. Like, you can't even do that. I'm not even that kind of dude to even be putting my pants on top of my shoes like this. But with these, you got to kind of, like, do that. Unless you're wearing, like, some joggers. But these are definitely good with joggers. But please, beware. Um, uh, um... Also meant to say about these, I just wore these out in the cold for my sneaker rotation video uh, one time. Uh, and this is a weave, you know, my feet was freezing eventually, but it's not as bad as Chuck Taylor's. Chuck Taylor's are, it's like walking in house shoes when it's cold out. It wasn't snow on the ground, but the wind was definitely breezy. So please beware when you're wearing a ZX Flux. Uh, I know this is kind of like a different shoe and this is supposed to be a review about this, but when you're wearing a ZX Flux, wear this with caution and uh yeah i heard these kind of like played out with too many of the images on it but that's another video but yeah these right here and i bring all that up because the holes on the side right here with any hirachi you wear since it's more like a stripped down shoe i wouldn't too much try to wear it out in the cold uh, because man ankle free city unless you got pants that can like cover this exactly or your pants go inside but if you like expose and show a sock and show your ankle you might be in some trouble unless you wear like five socks or three socks or something but i think a lot of people don't too much care for this kick because of the uh toe box right there number one they don't really too much know who agassi is as far as if you in the basketball or like that some people do i'm not gonna write off people like he just don't got an audience he has an audience and he was the stuff too like he's a superstar as far as like tennis so you know and just in his field in general he's kind of one of the people like jordan like okay you say agassi uh, that's you think of tennis kind of like michael phelps you think of swimming jordan basketball michael jackson pop music you know what i'm saying pop tupac rap you know what i'm saying it's like that so um yeah basically it's like that as far as the craftsmanship and stuff going this shoe um 
it's it's a regular gr kind of like thing they they didn't put time in this they don't got leather from italy and i'm not expecting that with this you know what i'm saying this is a cool little shoe for me i like it i like the little rice aroni uh african kind of like uh design on the back and the cup and stuff like that and i think the yellow really bring it out and this burst of speckles right there just kind of look like some outer space too much on acid kind of like thing i don't know but I also appreciate this nice little new bug right here and this is a thing something you won't notice until you actually get the shoe in hand um to me though i think this is one of those kicks like it was kind of hard to find a review on this i don't know if it's still a review on this now it's probably like one or two i don't know how many it is now but i like reviewing kicks like this kicks that's really like slept on but that's still heat that people kind of like left out just forgot about just overlooked because it's like this shoe would be sitting right here but you're trying to get you know your hand on that jordan release because they not gonna be there tomorrow this was in uh 2014 and remember jordan's was really selling out they ain't sitting they wasn't sitting on shelves how they are now and they you know the prices was lower also on the inside before i head up out of here you got a nice little uh tough neoprene on the inside with the sock the, as they call it the booty um i don't know if i did i show you no i didn't show you this the like uh embossed um nike air on the back i think this is true to the og though for the most part but you probably got to get the og and look at it super close to notice the slight difference because you know nike too much don't make everything exactly the same like it might be instead of a nike check on the inside it might be on the instead of a nike check on the insole it might be like a flaming tennis ball or the logo might be different up here or the fit just is it'll be something slightly different but yeah and they still had the air max bubble see they didn't put this in the jordan 7 jordan 7 like a visible one i think they just kind of like just put a you know they just covered it up and just left it like that um and last but not least before uh they was gonna put this this part right here on the bottom of the jordan 5 like this sole um i've seen the sample pictures they did it to the great five and i'm just happy that they kept the great five the way it is now as far as the color go um and also as far as the miso go these the miso's on here is okay and it's, it works better for this shoe but i cannot see this miso or this front right here being on a jordan 5 man it's just crazy um i definitely uh gotta get my computer game together so i can show you guys some clips because it's like if you go through a review like this you probably might be like dude what is he talking about but you can google the stuff anyway and see the pictures or whatever i don't know maybe you should type in jordan 5 sample but i've seen this on like uh, a nike talk forum when they was actually talking about how the sample pair the jordan 5s great fives in particular was about to have this like they actually had that on that on the bottom like so it's like crazy crazy rate comment and subscribe if you want this is the nike air tech challenge harachi joint before i head up out of here just a quick spin you should you should be able to find these shoes with no problem though they kind of drying up because i think people start realizing that they they dopeness especially like the phoenix sun colorway so uh Snail Goodfella, Goodfella Nail. Follow me on Twitter at Nail Goodfella. Peace.